Okay, we ready? Starting with you. Okay, make sure, make sure on this, we try to go heel cut, transition to the toe, one push. I don't want to see that double power push. A little bit, a little bit of explosiveness into those long legs of yours. Ready? Go. Cut, recover, set. Pivot, good. Push. Much better, okay? Much smoother with the right leg than the left leg. That means we need to work on that single leg on the left side. Go. Go, head, chest. Recover, set. Good, make sure we're leading with the chest. Good, same thing. Even though we're sliding, we still have to lead with the eyes. Right, we're still trying to get the chest and the eyes around. Right, really make sure when we're recovering and we're getting to our feet on the top, we have to get square. It's less important on the slide to the top that we're square because if we're sliding, it's more dangerous, right? We have less time. But if we're gaining our feet and getting into position, you got to hit. Like, you did not leave your chest at all when you came off that tuffle. You were not square at all. So then when you had to cut to go to your left side, you had to cut probably like double the distance because your position was so bad. Understand? Yeah. Go. Chest. Better. Smooth. Push. Good. Good reach for the glove. Good set. Yeah, go ahead. Good. A little bit more with the chest there. You're definitely sliding, still angled towards the wall. Go. Head. Head. Quicker eyes. Come on. Eyes. Eyes. I want to see distinct head movement. Head will lead you. Go. Two more each. Head. Smooth. Good. A little bit of a slip. Head. Leave the eyes. Go. That's right. Okay. In a game, if we're battling, we're scrambling, we're in a bad spot, and we're having to do a lot of down skating, and you slip, there's no quit. Right? You're not going to be able to do it perfect every single time. But the worst thing you can do is slip and then just give up on it. Right? Don't give up. Take a second push. Right? Because if we do that in a game, if we just give up on it, we're number one letting the team down, body language looks bad, all that. I don't know why you're smiling. Last one each. Go. Eyes. Eyes. Glove. Good. A little slip, but you didn't quit. Go. That was better. Grab a drink. Any questions on what I want to see here? Okay, so remember what I said. Use the chest to help the heel cut. Don't use the heel cut to get your chest around. Okay, we understand what I'm talking about there. Yes? You? Because on that walkthrough, you did not turn your head or your chest. Not much. You like to skate and look at your feet. Okay, let the eyes lead the way. Head. Look to where you're going. Butterfly, look. Look, smother. Good. Right? Go. Feel that edge. Recover. Push. That a girl. Smother. Good. Much smoother. That was much better. Okay, last one, then we're going to go same time. Go. Good. Are we ready? Three more. Same time. Go. Smother. Good. Good job. Make sure. Get, those, get that chest around. Make sure the eyes are leading. Right? If our head and our chest can look and move in the same direction, we are going to always be moving in the proper direction. Remember, we're trying to use the eyes and the chest to help the heel cut. You're still using the heel cut to get the chest around. Right? We don't know where we're going until we see it. So we're going to see it before we initiate the heel cut. So when I say to you, we're going to use the eyes and the chest to help the heel cut, it's because we're looking to point B before we even know that we have to heel cut. You're still using the heel cut to generate the look. You got to look, and then that's going to help us heel cut. It's also probably going to shorten the distance that we have to cut because that little bit of a rotation to see where I'm going is going to bring my knee and my foot into a shorter position. You're still using the heel cut to get there where I want you to look and then use the heel cut. 
Okay, two more. Go. That's better. Smother. One more. That, how'd that one feel? Do you feel like you moved a lot less? Yeah. yeah, that was much better. Ready? Make sure you get a second push after you smother. You're still kind of just cutting and dropping and then trying to use your momentum. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? Last one. Go. Good job. Good work.
What? The distorted um, release. That's not what we worked on. That was just part of it. Uh, getting your eyes. Getting your eyes behind the puck. Okay, making sure that we're not just dropping east to west. Or sorry, dropping north to south and reaching east to west. Trying to get the eyes behind the puck. I look stupid.